Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be a different one. Basically, I have got to be cleaning my brushes, but I've got two new brush cleaning products, or they're new to myself. So, I thought we'd try them out, compare and see what we think. So, I've got the PS Pro, this is Premark's own makeup brush cleansing spray, and this costs £2, and obviously I got it from Premark. And then I picked this up from Cult Beauty. This is the NYX Professional Makeup On The Spot Makeup Brush Spray Cleaner. I think this is £9. So this is £9 and this is £2. You get 100ml on the Premark one and you get 120 in the NYX one. So I haven't tried this one really that much. I was going to do them separately in a video and then I thought why not just try both of them out but I have tried this and this is amazing. Now for general cleaning of makeup brushes what I used to just do is get a bit of kitchen roll and I would use baby shampoo or washing up liquid. I would swirl my brush in it and then I would just rub it on the kitchen roll and it wouldn't necessarily make it brilliantly clean, but it was better than not cleaning them at all. Then I upgraded and I got a Real Techniques mitt thing that you put, slide onto your hand. It's through in my room. I don't really use it that much now. And then I got the cleanser that they have and you put, dipped it in your brush and then you swirled it on the thing me. And then I would do the excess on this. And again, I would just use that cleanser, or when I ran out of the cleanser, I used, oh, I always get pins and needles. I used the dry shampoo, eh, not dry shampoo, I used baby shampoo or, you know, like hand soap, whatever there was, right? That's absolutely fine. Then last Christmas in 2018, in the January, well, it would have been the end of 2018, beginning of this year, in the January sales, I went and got one of those stylus pros where you attach the brushes on and you put it into the water and it and cleans them, right? Now that's great to a certain extent, but it didn't wow me. But when I tried this little baby, I was blown away. So basically I've got all my brushes here and we're just going to have a little go of each one. We're going to start off with the Premark one because this one is probably more accessible to everybody because for some reason, at any NYX counter I've gone to, I have not been able to find this on the spot cleaner. I had to, I actually ended up buying it as I say online at Cult Beauty. So, as you can see, this brush is pretty manky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a little shake. You don't have to shake it. It doesn't actually tell you. It just says brush cleaning spray. And I'm going to spray. This is the Premark one. I'm going to spray it onto my brush. As you can see, manky manky. Oh. Right. And then I'm literally just going to take my kitchen roll and swirl the brush around. Now, it might not necessarily come off straight away. So I'm just going to show you. This is the brush here again. As you can see, it's still got a bit of product on. But it is pretty clean already. So we'll swirl it again. So I'm just swirling it here on the kitchen roll. And a good way, obviously, you know, for you to know is if you, there's no product coming onto this as well, that your brush is clean. Now, look at that. Again, yes, you can still see one slight little spot there. This maybe got a tiny bit of blush left. But I kid you not, the brush is dry. The brush is clean. The brush smells nice. Amazing. Or is it just me? I mean, again, you could go in, maybe just put a wee squirt. It's got quite a powerful squirt on it, this one. Put a wee squirt onto the bit that's maybe not quite wanting to come off. And again, just go back in with your kitchen towel or whatever it is you choose to use. Give a good swirl about. I mean, I'm not saying that this is going to give your brushes a major like deep cleansing clean. I think for that I would still either use my Stylus Pro 
or I would use, you know, you know, like properly give it a thorough clean. But look, clean, tidy, ready to go. And I guarantee you, excuse me, I've got the hiccups and just had some warm, um, that honeydew melon. I seem to have an obsession with it just now. Um, the Stylus Pro, one, it's just not, it's not as good. It's just not. So that's the first brush. Clean with the pre-mark. So let's get another brush that's pretty manky. This is the Mini Expert Face Brush, which I've been using a lot while I was away just to do my foundation. So as you can see, it's very, very dirty. Again, we're going to take the pre-mark one. I'm going to spray it. We'll get another piece of kitchen roll. And this is how dirty it is. And as I say, because it's quite dirty, it's probably going to take a good couple of sprays to get it off. So this is just one go. Yes, it's still dirty, but it's definitely taken a good whack of the product off the brush. So again, just give it another spray back in with the kitchen roll and we'll just give it a good rub. Now, I am so impressed with this Primark spray that I actually went and bought two more of it. So I've got a spare one here and I left one at my partner's so that when I'm down at his, I don't take a lot of makeup when I'm down at his. At the most, I'm down at his maybe a couple of weeks to a month. So, you know, obviously if I take a palette, digress a bit I'm just going back in a third time if I take a palette and I obviously want to do different looks I've not got all my brushes at home eh, from at home with me so you want something that you can just quickly do this with rather than having to wash the brushes under the tap at his and then wait okay so this is our third wash of it now again I know it's slightly still dirty there's still a bit of foundation coming off onto my hand. So it still needs a little bit more of a clean, but I still think compared to what it was, it is absolutely just phenomenal, especially for two pound. I was really like, oh, this isn't gonna work, you know? So we're going in again. And as you can see, there's still product coming off. But we'll just give it a good swirl round, make sure we're getting deep, deep into the bristles of the, the brush. And we're not even damaging the brush in any way. And we're just literally cleaning that all off. So again, there's still quite a lot of product and there's no like hairs or anything coming out. There's nothing damaging it, you know. But the product is proper into it. So again, I will give it another spray. So what, this is our fourth spray that we've given it. But I just was so impressed, like for £2. I almost bought more than two bottles. And I'm going back down to my partner's again in a couple of weeks' time. And I am actually tempted to get more because they are only £2. And you just don't know if it's going to be a permanent fixture in Primark or, you know, what's going to happen. So again... There's still a bit of product. So I'm going to keep going with this one just for a little bit. This is my fifth rub at it. And as you can see, there's still some coming off, but it is getting there, you know. I've got my thumb at the back here and I'm, you know, kind of really going into the bristles just to try and get that product that's deeper within the brush, which is why there's still product there. But on a whole, I think it's done pretty well. So it cleaned this one and then it's cleaned this one. Okay? Right. We'll step away from Primark and we will go into this NYX on the spot. And this says, Our makeup brush spray cleanser leaves your brushes smelling fresh and clean while shortening their drying time. So that's what it says for that one. So 
let's take this little brush and as you can see it's quite dirty I've been using that for my highlighter when I was away so we'll do the same again give it a squirt but this time it's with the next one now I would say the next one is more scented so if you're not into that then so again this is where we are here and we're swirling the brush I really don't like the scent of this one to be honest actually I don't like the scent of it at all it's very very floral and old womany so that's the first wash of it as you can see it's still got product on there give it another spray and another swirl into the Now, to be fair, there isn't a lot of colour coming off in this, but there is a wee hair standing up there. It is a bit cleaner, I would say. You could you could use it and there's no highlight coming off onto my hand that I can see. Can you see any highlight there? I don't think there is. But, you know, it's done an okay job. And when you rub it on to the... Sorry, I'm shaking the table. If you rub it on to... Like, I'm rubbing it on here. Look, there is nothing coming off now. But it's got a stronger scent than... The Primark one. So let's try another brush. Here is another brush that is quite dirty. And again, we will use the NYX on the spot one. Give that a good spray. Take the brush, just swirl it about, and as you can see, it's taking the product off there. And then I just like to kind of lightly run my thumb over the top and round the sides of the brush just to see. So this is the first go. As you can see, it's still slightly, you know, caked in product. So we'll go back in again. And we'll do the same swirly motion. As you can see in this side, there's still a bit there. I suppose the premises of both of the products is like they say, like if you were a makeup artist or say for example, I don't know, even just yourself, like say you'd done a blue eye look and you really wanted to use that brush for like something else and you didn't have to you know you didn't have time you could just grab it spray it give it a wipe and it's dry enough for you to use it rather than having to wait about so it's not for deep cleaning of your brushes so there it is on its second go and i mean it's looking pretty clean see but there's a lot of fluff i feel coming off these ones that i've done with the they're very, very scented. So, I mean, they're both good. They are both good cleaners. But this is the two brushes here that I have cleaned with the NYX brush cleaner. So, the NYX brush cleaner and these are the two brushes that I have cleaned with those, okay? The two brushes that I cleaned with the Primark one are these two here. Now, I know you can still see slight foundation on this brush and there is no blusher left on this brush. But I personally think the Primark is better. So, you know, what do you think? Write down in the comments below which brush cleaner you think did the better job. Do you think it was the Primark brush cleaner at £2? Get yourself to a Primark or if you know someone that's going there, get them to pick you one up. Or is it the NYX on the spot cleaner? Which one do you rate the most? I'll be interested to see in the comments down below. So guys, I just wanted to come on and show you these two cleansers and maybe it might be something you want to pick up. I really, really, really do think that you should go out and grab this. As I say, I was just browsing through Primark and I saw it and I thought, oh, it's £2, I'll try it. I tried it and I was like, wow. Because I was just like, you know, £2, it's not really going to have much to it. 
and I was so so surprised and then as I say when I went back to Primark there a few weeks ago I picked up two more I've left one down at my partner's for when I'm down there and I've got a sp so now I've got this and a spare one and I'm going away again in a couple of weeks time and I think I am definitely going to pick up a few more of these just in case either they fly off the shelf which they should because they're amazing or Primark suddenly stopped doing them but yeah I cannot recommend it enough I'm not saying that I don't like this this still does a good enough job but comparing the two this is more affordable this does a better job of cleaning it and it doesn't have the floral strong scent this is a floral strong scent it's more expensive and it's harder to get a hold of yes you get more product but this actually performs better I feel so when it comes down to it it's the pre-mark for the win this time so guys I hope you enjoyed this video it was just something different to share with yourselves and please give the video a thumbs up let me know in the comments which one you think performed the best on the couple of brushes that I showed you. I'm now going to sit there and watch the TV and clean the rest of them. And I will speak to you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to be notified of when I upload. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.